My name is Aaron Cairo. I've been skateboarding and teaching kids how to skateboard for a very long time. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to 180 no comply. To start this trick out, you got to have your foot placement correct. It's similar to an ollie, your foot placement is just like this. Your front foot is down from those top bolts and your back foot is there on the tail. You're going to have your back foot back a little bit so you can get the practice on the scoop. So after you got your foot placement down, I want you to practice just kicking the board like this. Just practice popping it 180 just with one foot at a time. Essentially when you do the trick and you step your front foot off, that's the motion that you're going to do. You got to do this along with turning your shoulders, just like I showed you there. So a big part of it is turning your head and shoulders. So turn your shoulders first, step your front foot off, and then pop your back foot on the board just like you practiced previously. And then you got to put it all together and do it all at once and try and do it fast. You can learn this one kind of slow where you can just step your front foot off, pop it, and then step on like that. And then the more comfortable you get with that, the faster you can do it. It's honestly kind of hard to do this trick standing still. It's much easier rolling, even though it's kind of scarier and a little bit harder. But once you get it down kind of standing still and you got the pop of the board and the timing between stepping your front foot off and popping your board down, then just do it rolling. Honestly, it's just a lot easier rolling for me too. When I was doing these ones still, it was kind of hard, even though I can obviously do the trick a lot. So I'll show you a bunch of different angles here and you guys can kind of get the idea of how it works. The other thing you gotta watch out for is getting your front leg out of the way so your board pops around. So it is easiest to do just a front side 180 with this. If you pop the board without doing a 180, it's super hard to get it to pop and just go straight. That one's really hard. The front side 180 is the easier no comply to learn. So I definitely suggest learning that one first. So yeah, you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this trick, practice it a lot, and do it a lot, you'll get really good at it, and there's kind of a lot of different fun combinations that you can do with this trick, so it's a good one to learn early, and it's just a really fun one when you're just cruising around. So yeah, you can see here, I step off my front foot, pop it around, and then I just step back on. Here's the top view, the point of view cam. Step off with that front foot, pop it around, and you see how fast the front foot just steps on the ground and then jumps back on. It seems like it's going to be kind of hard, but once you guys get used to it and get this down, it's going to be a lot easier than you think. So yeah, this, this trick is a lot of fun. I know you guys are going to have a lot of fun doing it. So if you have questions, just leave it in the comments or post your videos on my website at the skate support page and I'll try and get to you guys there. I know I'm a little backlogged. I got a lot of projects going. So pop over to BrailleSkateboarding.com and definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's $6.99, but it's well worth it. I'm getting rave reviews back on it. Also, I will be uploading a slow-mo version of the 180 No Comply video to help you guys learn it. But until then, go ahead and check out all these playlists and see what you can find there. Thanks for all your help and support. Many more videos on the way.